Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in sunny California and seeing a massive price increase compared to Arkansas in the last episode. This is a $165 million mansion, and this is, I mean, that's oppressor class money. You don't, you don't, uh you don't b-ball your way into that sort of money. This is old money and diamond mines with child labor money here. Uh, this is in sunny Los Angeles. There was a 225 million house that I skipped past because it just didn't have enough pictures to be interesting. Um, but yeah, prepared to be disgusted. Okay, look at these massive swaths of monoculture have you ever seen this i remind you this is in los angeles where there is no water <laughs> they are watering this lawn does not stay alive by accident this is so much water here and for what for what is anyone using this lawn i bet you not i bet no one's using it it is just there to be huge and green and hostile to bees. That's what it is. All right, we've got this giant brick pavilion thing with, frankly, an underwhelming fountain in the middle. You know what? This house is 165 million. Give me a fancy, give me a, a nicer fountain. I want a statue in it. I want a statue in that fountain. 165 million, no statue in the fountain. Give me a break. Also, this. Are these arches or columns? Pick one. What is the style? You've got one type of, you've got the rounded columns here. You've got square columns here. You've got arches between them. There's like five different architecture styles duking it out and like not even a good duke out. They're like having a slap fight in here. We've got square windows in these arched recesses. That doesn't look good. I, I I wouldn't be overly judgmental if I saw this on like a normal house. But again, $165 million. Get, it, get someone that actually knows architecture. Christ. All right. Oh, hedges. Of course, very neatly trimmed hedges. Someone has to be out there every day trimming those hedges and watering them, of course. And we've got this little, is that a koi pond? That's a good use of water. Um, sure, those fish really love baking in the LA sun as well. Uh, got some uncomfortable little concrete benches and whatever these things are. Um, let's, let's keep going on through. Here's the pool. We've got, uh, I assume these are attached somehow, hot tub pool. That's always a nice combo. Um, your lounge chairs. That's, is that a swing there? I do like a swing. And then are these, are those floaties? Are they beds? I don't know what those are. I'm intrigued. Um, but yeah, no, so they, they're making really good use of water conservation here is, is what I can tell you. Uh, of course we've got the tennis court, which doubles as a basketball court. We've got a basketball hoop over here. Um, this looks like, is that a fucking hedge maze or just like a walk through formal garden? Oh my god, this is why there's no water left in Los Angeles. It all went to this house. It's all at this house. And look at that. The the view from above. This this is what a thousand years of worker class oppression has brought us. This ugly ass mansion. Let's get inside. Oh, <laughs> of course, this is the entryway. Look at that. The black and white striped floors, the double grand staircase. Uh, oh, dear God. That's imagine trying to take your prom pictures on that staircase. They'd have to use they would need a camera with a zoom on it 
or you'd need like a hundred friends to fill up the staircase. Uh, of course, they've got the obligatory uh, grand foyer table with shit on it and the chandelier hanging over it. This is all this is all required for this. We've got these chairs that no one has ever sat in, ever. Um, because what are you going to do? Put your shoes on here? No, then you have to walk across this marble floor. How did... At least there's greenery inside. You know what? A lot of these places, you see this big, massive house with gigantic windows and there's not a plant in the entire place. This, though, the room, horrifying. <laughs> Here. Why is it all white? Why is this? We saw this in Arkansas too. You know what? There's a seven million dollar house in Arkansas that is. Is that like three percent to five percent of the cost of this house? And it also <laughs> was all white and looked like a hospital slash pottery barn. Um, it looks like a hotel lobby, right? They've got all of these identical couches in little sitting areas like this isn't a place that you live this is this is a hotel lobby this is where you wait for your uber to arrive while trying to not make eye contact with the man at the front desk um all right they got this nice ceiling detail that you can barely see because it's all white um all right We've at least embraced shades of gray for this room. And <laughs> you've got this table that's so absurdly long, they had to put six bouquets in a row on it. Um, this, the chandelier feels way too big to me. Like, it's not actually obstructing anyone's view. It's not that low, but it's still, it draws attention to how unnecessarily tall this room is i guess it just it seems like it's whole it, that's person sized i don't want something person sized hanging over the dinner table um yeah this how many, how many chairs are at this table there's there's 10 chairs is that right did i just count that right we got 4 5 6 eight, 10 chairs per side there are 22 chairs at this table can you imagine and we've got more gray we've got more gray to match the moral character of the residents is that velvet i think it is um got a big beautiful empty square there's supposed to be a picture there um but I think that would be too much color for the room. Uh, I don't know what these are. Um, yeah, this it looks like a room that should have a lot more built-in shelving than it does. But it just has like these tiny little cubbies. A couple of shelves with knickknacks on them. Like this whole wall should be a bookcase, you know? All right, they've got an old movie on the TV. That was a choice they made. Um, black and white to match the rest of the room. It looks like maybe there's some brown in this carpet, but I, I can't really tell. The rest of the gray is so blinding. Um, we talked in the Arkansas video about how like these chair rails and having these different panels on the wall that's that's an opportunity to use some bold colors to like you know you just have a bright color just in just in the panels or just down at the bottom or just at the top and then the other part balances it out it's kind of like having a feature wall but they've balanced gray with white dear god this this house is the color of existential depression um, oh, I was so depressed I almost missed. I almost missed that this TV is over a fireplace. Cardinal sin number one of rich people houses. TV over the fireplace. 
we got another one. All right. We've got this. What is this room? I don't... This makes me uncomfortable. I don't know what this room is for, and I don't know that I ever want to be in it. Um, I think this is a room where you bring people to fire them. That's the sense I'm getting. I don't know that there... I, I never suspected that there were rooms specifically for that, but looking at this room, I think that people are hurt emotionally and financially in this room. That's that's the vibe I get. The double sitting area, that's that's a symptom that your room is too large, that you don't have enough shit to put in a room and you've got too much floor space. So you're like, well, it looks weird to just have these two couches here. Guess we'll put a, another couch and some chairs over there. That's Did they paint this dome yellow? Or is that just weird lighting? I don't know. Everything's gray. I feel like a dog. And... And we've got some chuggy knife hand pillows here. That's, that doesn't look good. I don't know why they think that looks good. It looks chuggy. That's what, that's what the, the youths call it. All right. Oh God. You can't even see anything in here. It's all white. It's, it's like, it's like a white page and you say it's a picture of a rabbit in a snowstorm. Um can't really distinguish one couch or chair from the other. Um, I feel like you have to be in a cult to feel relaxed in this room. Like, you have to be programmed into thinking that you can sit in this room and you're not about to be attacked. I, I would sit in here and I would be in fear of my life at all moments. I wouldn't know why. I wouldn't know why, but I would be vigilant. I would be hyper vigilant in this room. I would feel tense. It's, oh. All right. Then we've got a couch at the end of the bed just to extend it out a little bit. Um, that's for all of these. <laughs> this army of chuggy night knife hand pillows. Uh, oh, there's some on the chairs, too. We've got spectator chairs so that you can invite spectators to watch you have sex. Um... Is this a couch over here? I think there's more seating. There's this is good seating for this for the bed spectation. Again, they've you know what they they've got the idea of this paneling where you balance out the neutral color with with another color. But again, white and gray, white and gray. That's all they know. That's all they know. These people have no souls. I I am. I don't imagine that you could maintain your soul and live in this place. This is just a place to stub your toe. Why is that there? I don't know what it's there for. This is ominous, right? This is, this is giving me like, like combination vibes of like a corporate center and a bowling alley. Like, I feel like... You're supposed to do business things here, and then that's the bowling alley. Or so, I don't, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's, that's what I'm getting here. That's the vibe I'm picking up. I wouldn't walk through here. I think something would happen to me if I walked through there. I would walk up along the edge and like peer nervously over the edge to see if anything happened to the other people that walked through there. I don't know what would. I don't know what would happen, but... I don't, I don't trust that space. And we're in another white room. Now we've got round chairs. They don't know about colors, but they knew, they do know about shapes. And they do know about knife handing the pillows. Look, there's so many pillows on this couch. There's so many pillows in this room. Some poor <laughs> photographer went through and knife handed every single Oh, it looks so stupid. It looks just the stupidest. Um, hmm. And of course, we've got gray on the walls. We've got this very bizarre little coffee table. This. 
I'm I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's the bowling. I told you. I told you there was a bowling alley. I told I sensed it. I sensed it. And here it is. And you know, you know how all bowling alleys were like multicolor neon, you know, every color of the rainbow barfed many times in in the bowling alley to create it. <laughs> They've got a single bright blue ball here that looks like it ended up there by accident. All of the rest of them, these people hate color. They hate color. What is this? What is this dark black gray? Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad about this entire house. Oh, they're watching black. I, okay. They're watching black and white movies. They had a black and white movie on that other TV. The entire house is black and white. I think maybe these people, maybe they're colorblind. Maybe this is an entire family of color, like profoundly colorblind people. Or, or maybe there's some like weird religious prohibition against color. I don't know. Uh, this is the movie theater because obviously you need a movie theater. You're, you're in L.A. and this house is $165 million. You have a bowling alley. You have a movie theater. Uh, you, there's probably a potting green somewhere. Um, there's the lame-ass fountain through the confusing arches that want to be columns. Oh, here's the other view of the grand foyer with the grand chandelier. Another shot of the intimidating, other sh intimidating chandelier. Oh, here's a new room. Um, is this, yeah, this is a new room. So that room where I said there was the giant square that needed something in it, they decided to put a giant mirror there. I feel like this color on the walls might be something slightly different than gray. I think this might be greenish. I'm so starved for color, I'm just like hallucinating it wherever I can find it. Um, we've got, we've talked about this before. Rich people, they don't know how to buy one of a piece of furniture. So we've got two of these chairs, we've got two of these chairs, all of the pillows knife handed. This, this is a nightmare house and it's so big. It's, this is 56,500 square feet of my worst nightmare. Okay, got a outdoor alleyway thing going on in here. Here it is from above. This huge ass house, this whole thing, and not a single color in it. God bless America. The oligarchs have <laughs> destroyed us. Oh, dear God. Well, that's, that's, you know what, that is what I expected from a $165 million California mansion in Los Angeles. Um, this is why everyone is so fucking miserable in Los Angeles all the time. They're just miserable people because they live this way. They choose to. They choose to paint their houses this way and just be miserable. Um, yeah, what a, <laughs> what a house. Well, you guys know the drill. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything you noticed that I missed. And if there's anything you'd like me to comment on in future videos, give me a holler. Other than that, have a fantastic day.